Oh, how's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Flair and today I'm bringing you guys on the GTA 5 PC mod showcase video. In this one I'm actually going to be showcasing a mod which tells you a load of different interior locations all around the map of GTA 5 both around Los Santos and all out in Blaine County with enterable interior locations. Now these aren't just places where you walk up to the front door and it teleports you in through like reappearing you somewhere else under the map. No, these are actual systems where you can walk through the front door as if they were always unlocked. Now, as you can see on screen now, the map does actually show all of the green dots, which are all of the unlocked places around the map, of which there are about 30. Some of which act a little bit differently, but most of them are very, very well modelled, and you can just walk in perfectly. So, if you guys do end up enjoying this video, be sure to go and drop a like down below, as it really would help me out. Now let's go. So I'm going to read out the list of all of the interior locations, there's 32. The Life Invader Offices, Tequila La, Sandy Shore Sheriff Department, Polito Bay Sheriff Department, Laszlo Stadium, Cluckin Bell Factory, Bahama Mama's West Nightclub, Comedy Club, The O'Neill Farmhouse, Humane Labs, FIB Building Bottom Floors, FIB Building 49, FIB Building Burnt Out Floors 47 through 53, Hospital, Epsilon Storage Room, Lester Sweatshop, Jewelry Store, Building Under Construction Beside Jewelry Store, Lester's House, Franklin's Aunt's House, Janice's Apartment, Foundry Recycling Plant, Meat Packaging Facility, Simeon's Dealership, Torture Building, Mall, Madrazo's Ranch, Floyd's House, Devin Weston's Chop Shop, Omega's Lab, and finally the Polito Bay Bank. Now some of these have matching interiors because, for example, when you look into the Sheriff's Apartment or kind of building in Sandy Shores and also up in Polito Bay, they use the same interiors, but they're fully accessible and if you look on the map you can see all of the green dots. And maybe if you were planning on recording a machinima in there, or wanted to just do a fun little cop shootout, this is a great place to hide out or record something a bit more realistically without having to worry about recording it inside the particular mission where this map might be opened. Now obviously you can't use this online because Rockstar are of course banning for any mods used online and as far as I know it doesn't work there at all. But you can use this in single player, you don't have to be playing the particular mission, doesn't matter how far into the story you are, what character you're playing as, pretty much all of these doors are opened. Now there's actually a few little changes through the FIB building floor 49, you have to get into it with an elevator, you have to use a different elevator to get to the burnt out floors in that same building. The comedy club, you have to stand by standing at the front doors, that's the only way to enter. The Bahama Mama's West nightclub, you teleport through going at the front doors. And actually at the Madrazo's ranch, you have to kind of go into a special light side location, not even the front door, because they did for some reason put an invisible wall there even though the doors open. So there are a few places where you're going to have to work out your own way of getting in, where it just teleports you in, but it still marks it on the map as an enterable location and it's very, very fun. So of course there will be a link to this mod in the description down below, the installation is very simple and he details it already on the site. And that's pretty much all you have to know about this mod. I hope that you guys do enjoy it and enjoy playing with it. And if you guys did enjoy the video or do think you'll enjoy playing with this mod, be sure to go and drop a like down below as it really does help me out as always. Comment down below what other mods you'd like to see. Are there any other ones you'd like me to maybe showcase to show to other people? Have you made a mod? Do you have an idea for a mod? Anything like that, leave it in the comments section down below. Finally, subscribe for more videos just like this coming very, very soon and follow me on Twitter for more behind the scenes updates and things like that. I've got a lot of pictures going up at the minute talking about some GTA 5 stuff and a lot of the updates going around and the talks going around and the rumours about the game. So be sure to follow me there, there's a link in the description down below. And that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys all very much for watching, my name has been Flair, signing out.